Fully vaccinated Australians will finally be free to leave the country from today, when one of the strictest COVID-19 travel bans in the world ends after 18 months. Australians have been restricted from leaving and coming in for 590 days since March the 20th, 2020. Travellers will be allowed to visit any country from November the 1st, but there are many rules in place depending on where you're going. Quarantine-free inbound travel for New South Wales also begins today. Here's our Australia correspondent, Shana Khalil. Very emotional day here at Sydney Airport. Lots of hugs and embraces and flowers and welcome home signs. In fact, there's a sign just behind me saying, good day, it's good to have you back. And, of course, tears of joy and relief. This is a day that so many families have been waiting more than 18 months for, reuniting with loved ones. As fully vaccinated Australians and residents now are able to come home from overseas without quarantine, but also able to travel abroad without having to ask for an exemption. I'm actually at the uh, departures uh, gate now and I've been speaking to some people who've come back but also people who are on their way to London to see loved ones. They've told me they haven't seen them for ages and it's just so good to be able to make travel plans. This has been quite an exciting day as well for the travel industry, for the national carrier Qantas. I've been speaking to their CEO Alan Joyce who said the last 18 months have been devastating for the industry, for uh, Qantas and their whole that their staff is going to come back. They're hoping that their fleet is going to is going to go back to full schedule by December and January. But not everyone is reuniting. Not everyone is able to do this because while New South Wales and Victoria families are able to come now and reunite things are not the same in the rest of the country. We know that Queensland, South Australia and Tasmania have said they may open their international borders before Christmas. But Western Australia, for example, there is no timeline to do so. So while it's been quite emotional here seeing all those family reunions, it's going to be a longer wait for so many more across Australia. Our correspondent there, Sean McAlil, with us now is Chris Orr, a Scottish expat and owner of Wee Man's Kitchen, a restaurant in Melbourne. Uh, really great to have you with us, Chris. Uh, you're out of lockdown. I was going to ask you, what's it like? I can't really believe you're sat inside talking to us. I know. Oh, my God. It's actually really amazing to actually be here right now and not be in lockdown. Uh, lucky me, it's actually been a really nice day. It's been like 23, 24 degrees, sunny. And, you know, I'm just looking forward to actually getting away from Melbourne and seeing the rest of Victoria and possibly the rest of Australia and possibly maybe even, like, come back to the UK, Scotland and see my beautiful mum and dad and all my wonderful friends if I get a chance. What's the last 18 months been like, Chris? Because I think you, you missed your brother's wedding, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I missed my brother's wedding. He got married in uh, New Jersey in September and uh, my mum and dad also missed that and they're from uh, Glasgow. Uh, it's been really grim, you know. It's not It's not just the fact that I've missed the wedding. There's been a lot of bad stuff. Like my, my uncle died at Christmas time and, you know, I've, I've had a lot of friends that have went through uh, a lot of hard troubles back in, you know, Scotland. And just not being able to be there for my friends and my family. And I've got my own family here as well, which is the most important thing in the world. But distance does really, you know, play a big part of it. You know, it's it's been really hard just trying to survive. You have to stick by routines, you know. You've got to have a daily routine and you've got to, like, make sure that you're driven enough just to get out of the house if you're, you're actually getting out of the house. Because we only had, like, a five kilometer radius so luckily for me I had a park next to me and I could stretch my legs a little bit but there was times because it was winter mm. uh, it was a bit cold and you know there was days that I actually was you know I'm actually have been I'll put it out there because I think it's important I've been depressed you know having lockdown and my business suffering it's, it's been hard it's mm. been hard. No, I bet Chris I mean family and friends clearly the most important thing but you mentioned your business there what sort of impact has it has the pandemic had on that and, and are you up and running again now? Oh, I'm up and running and it's all systems go like I've, I have got amazing customers and I've got amazing people that support me but Melbourne is a, like, it's a people's place, you know. It, it's full of amazing restaurants and amazing live arts and, you know, it's got so much going for it and it's a massive tourist place. So when the tourists aren't there and the people aren't about, then, yeah, Melbourne suffers. 
And then my business suffered too. I lost probably about 90% of my business. And I'm kind of lucky because, you know, the government did support me in having grants, but to not actually have my business and open up every day and see those wonderful uh, wonderful faces that come through the door, hmm. it, was, it was really hard, hmm. you know. Um, well, look, good luck with it all, Chris. Countries. We've got to leave yeah. it there only because time is tight, no other reason, but great to chat to awesome. you. Many thanks. Thanks, bye. <laughs> bye.